This video will show you how to do your homework on making molar solutions using an animation. This animation can be found, it's a McGraw-Hill actually animation, and it will be found if you come down to this page. Um, the animation is available on my website, mrwiggerside.com forward slash Kim, and just go to Learning Center, from there go to Web Helps, from there go to Chapter 15, and you will find in Chapter 15 Web Helps in the top right corner a large um, uh, heading called concentration and there, there, as of the making of this video there's only one animation in there and you just uh, click on visit site and you will be where you need to be. So for making this solution we're going to use the first animation as an example and I'm going to show you first of all the animation, we'll actually run it and then we're going to go ahead and show you what you're actually going to write down. Okay, when you get to the page the animation is on, you're going to, for this particular animation, click in this first box that you see down here in the bottom left. The ones that you're going to do on your own are in the center and on the far right. And just watch as this thing goes and I'll explain it, how to write it up that is, as we go. So I'm clicking on the bottom left. To begin, click on the flask you will use to make the solution. So this solution has to be one liter of solution. So that the volumetric flask you would want to use would be the one liter flask. Click the tear button to zero the balance. The tear button removes the weight that is part of the flask itself so that when you Next, weigh something... click one of the buttons to add water or sodium chloride to the flask. Yeah, when you weigh something, it's going to weigh just that substance and not include the weight of the flask, which is very nice. Unfortunately, we don't have scales like that, but we're going to uh, pretend that we do in this animation. Now we're going to weigh out 58.44 grams of sodium chloride. You're going to have to show your calculation for that. So let's go ahead and press that and see what happens, and then I'll explain what we've done so far and how to write it down. Correct. You need to add 58.44 grams of sodium chloride to the flask to prepare 1.00 liter of 1.00 molar sodium chloride. Click one of the buttons to add water to the flask. All right, let's see what we've done. In the first animation, I clicked on the make one liter of a one molar solution of sodium chloride, so I have to write that down, as you will have to do. The first thing we did was select the one liter volumetric flask because you want exactly one liter of solution, and that's what volumetric flasks are designed for, to make specific amounts of solution. Next, we want to click on the tear button. That will zero the balance with the flask on it and make that total weight of just the flask a zero. And then we need to uh, one mole of sodium chloride, so we have to figure out the molar mass. And I want you to uh, figure that out and show me how much the molar mass is of each of the solutions that you're going to be doing. There's two of them. And then in order to make the one liter of solution, we'll need to figure it like this. And I want to see this calculation. Okay, we have one mole over one, that's the given over one, and then we have the molar mass, which is this fraction right here, and that fraction is going to allow us to convert and make uh, how many grams of sodium chloride we need. Now, because it's one mole, we could do this in our head, but I want to see the calculation anyway. And now, we weigh that out by simply pouring it into the empty flask, which, by the way, must be dry because if we put a little bit too much in, we can't get it out if it's wet because it will be stuck to the insides. And then we won't have any way of getting an accurate weight. So dry is the name of the game with this guy. Next, we're going to add enough water to fill one half of the flask and not all the way because we still need to be able to mix the salt in after the water is put in. So here we are doing exactly that. Now we're going to put that half, half filled water in. So we pour that in using a funnel 
and pour it up about halfway and then we are going to be able to get it all mixed up. Uh, usually I just swish it by grabbing the neck of the flask and that will give us the ability to swish that and as we swish it around it will dissolve that, that uh, solute into the solution. And now once it's all dissolved we can go ahead and fill it but from the beaker we only want to fill it up partially just a little bit below the line. Then we take a dropper and that gives us more control so we don't overshoot. If we, over we have correctly prepared 1.00 liter of a 1.00 molar sodium chloride solution. Yeah, that guy's kind of loud. Anyway, you can see the bottom of the meniscus was right on the line. And uh, from that, we know that we've got exactly the one liter of solution, exactly the right amount of stuff, and we've created as accurate a solution as we can possibly make. Now, okay, so... We added enough to make half full, then we pour enough to come up close to the line and add the rest of the water with a dropper until the bottom of the meniscus is barely touching the line. Now, everything that you see written here on this page is what I expect to see written on your homework page for doing each of these animations. All that's going to change is like this part in here where we're figuring it for sodium chloride here, we'd be figuring it for potassium dichromate or potassium permanganate. And uh, in like fashion, the one mole of each of those kinds of things will be different. And you'll have to show me how you figure those. So this is what we're doing. This is where the uh, solution would be available to you. And when you go to the next page here, I'm showing you the solutions that you're going to be making. The second animation, uh, 500 milliliters of a 0.025 molar solution of potassium dichromate. And then the third animation, which is making one liter of a 0.125 molar solution of potassium permanganate. And again, your address where you can pick this up to get the animation is right here. And I hope you enjoy doing this thing. It really will help you understand how these solutions are made.